We have tattooed rings. You have tattooed rings. Okay. <laughs> so we already have the rings on. All right. Of course so, so, yeah. Uh, okay. All right. Are you ready? Oh, ready, steady. Ready? Ready, ready. Ready? Okay. Michelle? Angelo? Today you celebrate one of life's greatest moments. You give recognition to the worth and the beauty of love as you join in the vows of marriage. Just as two different threads woven in opposite directions form a beautiful tapestry, so can your lives merge together and form a very beautiful marriage. The two of you are those threads, and together you will become that tapestry friends are at each one an important piece of the story that is told about your family and your life. This becomes the fabric in which you wrap yourselves in and take comfort in when the world seems cold. But everything is right with the world. That tapestry is proudly spread out and displayed for all to see. To make your marriage work, you think love. Love should be the core. Love should be the fear. But it will also take trust. Know in your hearts you want the very best for each other. It will take dedication to stay open to one another, to learn to grow together, even when that is not easy to do. It will take faith to always be willing to go on to tomorrow. Never really know I got tomorrow will bring. Okay, you look at commit. To hold true to this journey, you both now pledge to take together. So if you turn and face each other, and hold each other's hand. Whoa. Before we go any further, First look back. into the eyes of your beloved and know these are the hands of your best friend. Love. Young strong, full of love for you that are holding yours on this your wedding day. As you promise to love each other for today, tomorrow, and forever. These are the hands that will work alongside yours as together you build your future. These are the hands that will passionately love you and cherish you throughout the years and with the slightest touch, comfort you like no other. These are the hands that will hold you when fear or grief fills your mind. These are the hands that will countless times wipe the tears from your eyes, both the tears of sorrow and, of course, the tears of joy. These are the hands that will help you hold your family together. These are the hands that will give you the strength you need when you need it the very most. And last, these are the hands that even when wrinkled and bent with time will still be reaching for yours, still giving you the same unspoken tenderness with just a touch. So, Michelle, if you take Angelo to be your awfully wedded husband, to have and to hold from this day forward for better, for worse, richer or poorer, in sickness and in health, as long as you both shall live, Angelo, you take Michelle to be your lawfully wedded wife, to have and to hold from this day forward, for better or worse, for richer or poorer, in sickness and in health, as long as you both shall live. Traditionally, we have a reading at this point, and the reading I've chosen for this morning is called Love Never Fails. It is a poem inspired by Paul's letter to the Corinthians. Love is not proud. Love does not boast. Love, after all, is what matters the very most. Love does not run. Love does not hide. Love does not keep locked away inside. Love is the river that flows through you. Love never fails you. Love will sustain. Love will provide. Love will not cease at the end of time. Love will protect. Love always hopes. 
love still believes, even when you don't. When your heart can't make a sense, when you can't seem to turn around, when the sky is falling down, nothing is greater than this. Nothing is greater than this. Love is right here. Love is alive. Love is the way, the truth, and the life. Love is the river that flows through. Love is in his arms that you Love is the place that you will fly to. Love never, ever fails. So, Angelo, if you would please repeat after me. From this day on, I, Angelo, choose you, Michelle, to be my beloved wife, to live with you and laugh with you, to stand by your side and sleep in your arms. To be a joy to your heart and food for your soul. To bring out the best in you. Always. To be the best I can be. Just for you. To celebrate with you. In the good times. To struggle with you. Through the bad. To solace you when you are downhearted, to wipe your tears with my hands, to care for you with my entire being, to share with you everything that I am. This I promise you. And Michelle, feel free to repeat everything. From this day on, I, Michelle, choose you, Angelo, to be my beloved husband, to stand by your side and sleep in your arms, to live with you and laugh with you, to be a joy to your heart and food for your soul to bring out the best in you all to be the best i can be just for you to celebrate with you in the good times to struggle with you through the bad to solace you when you are downhearted, to wipe your tears with my hands, to care for you with my entire being, to share with you everything that I have, this I promise you. Okay, since we don't have ring, but we do have ring, Angelo. If you would repeat that for me. Michelle, so, I marry you. I marry you. With all that I am, I respect and honor you. You are my equal, my partner, my best friend, and now my <laughs> Michelle, if you please repeat that for me. Angela, Angela, I marry you with all that I am. I respect and honor you. You are my equal, my partner, my best friend, and now my husband. Michelle, Angelo, <laughs> In so much the two of you have agreed to live together in matrimony, having promised your love for each other by making these vows, having heard you make your pledges of affection, I do, by the authority vested in me, by the great state of New Mexico, and more importantly, the eyes of God, 
declare you to be husband and wife. Congratulations. Yes, you can. May the road rise to meet you. May the wind always be at your back. May the sun shine warm upon your face and the rain fall soft upon your field. May the light of friendship guide your path together. May the laughter of children and grandchildren and great-grandchildren echo through the hallways of your home. May the joy of living for one another trip a smile from your lips and a twinkle from your eye. And until eternity beckons at the end of a life we high, 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 full of love, may God hold you both in the palm of his hand. Ladies and gentlemen, may I present to you for the first time, Mr. and Mrs. Dixon! Yeah. Oh, look at the